Hello everyone, how's it going? I am the Average Guy 1983. Thank you very much for viewing this quick video. I'm on my smartphone right now, so the camera might look a little weird versus what I normally film with. Um, I'm making this video for my fellow Generation 1 Nest Cam Outdoor owners. If you have a power adapter that looks like this and it has a locking mechanism, if it's Generation 1 with the USB port, you're in luck. This uh, power adapter, when it first came out, it was for a little bit over $50 to replace. Now, there is a better alternative to this uh, adapter, and I'm about to give you guys that option just in case your Nest Cam, which looks like this, with the Nest logo in the front, or the G letter logo in the front, and you have that same style adapter, this may help you. So before you throw away your Nest Cam, Please try to do this first and save yourself some money. This Nest adapter here is the 5 volt 1.4 amp power adapter that just locks. It's supposed to be weatherproof. This was inside of my house, but I had a power outage and my camera stopped working. And I thought that my camera got fried. So I had to do some troubleshooting first. Number one was disconnect the cable wait about five minutes, plug it back in, and see if I can see a blue light coming onto that camera so that it can start working. Unfortunately, I never got that blue light to turn on. So um, I decided to try one more thing, disconnect the power brick, which was really hard to do because everything is in my attic up at the top. And I was able to take the power adapter out and through these really faded gray color letters, I was able to find out that this adapter is 5 volts, 1.4 amps. So I decided to search around and unfortunately I couldn't find a replacement adapter for this even at the $50 price. It's just like non-existent because again, this is generation one Nest camera. So it's like the first gen camera that came out from Nest. However, here's the alternative if you actually are able to do this. This is a really cheap risk to take versus buying this adapter or buying a brand new camera. This is an Insignia 12 watt USB wall charger. This wall charger is 5 volts, 2.4 amps. We're going to plug this in to see if I can get this camera to work again. Okay, so real quick, you can see right now that the output on this Insignia adapter does say 5 volts, 2.4 amps, and it's a standard USB 2.0A plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right now, and we're gonna see if I can get it to start up on the camera. Okay, I'm plugging it in right now, and again, I apologize. I'm holding the camera on to this thing here. There we go. All right, the cable's in. Let's go ahead and plug in the power cord. All righty, the power cord is plugged in. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some power on the camera. All right, here we go. Look, check this out. Bam, we have power. Now let me make sure that my camera's working and I'll be right back. All righty, so here we go. Looks like my camera's working 100%. Let's go back to my regular phone. All right, so this was awesome. This actually worked out and this was the cheapest low risk alternative that you can actually have. Because again, if this adapter doesn't work, you can always use that adapter for a smartphone or for something else that needs USB charging. So you're not really losing much other than just those $4 at your local Best Buy. So I think this is really awesome. Um, I got to save myself the headache of having to buy a replacement camera, especially since I really like the Nest Gen 1 cams because they still use the original Nest app, which uh, allows you to be able to save footage at any moment whether there is some kind of um, activity or not. And unfortunately, with the Nest Gen 2 camera, uh, Google Nest cameras, I have two of them, one in my basement. I don't like that with the Google Home app, if there isn't an event going on at that moment and you see something interesting footage-wise, you can't save that footage onto your phone unless it's an event. So um, I find that really annoying and I wish Google would fix that, but I'm pretty sure they're not. Let's talk about the downsides to this. So let's just go to that and I apologize if I'm all over the place. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of bad things that would go wrong with this. Number one, like you can see here, this is no longer weatherproof. But then again, I mean, I don't get any water in my uh, ceiling or roof. So I'm really happy about that. And 
my adapter broke because of a power outage. It fried. So if something like this happens to fry on you due to a power outage, you can just replace it for another two, three, maybe four dollars like I did. And this is proof that you have a much cheaper alternative just doing a little bit of troubleshooting. The pain in the ass part is having to grab a big ladder to climb up to your ceiling and try to reach up to the roof to get to where your, you know, your camera wires are at versus having to replace a whole camera system with a new one and uh, spend 200 bucks when you could have just spent a couple dollars and replaced the power adapter. So again, my friends, if you guys found this video useful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me because this will help the algorithm spread the love and share everything with my other fellow Nest Cam Outdoor Generation 1 users. There's a lot of us still out there that still have our cameras working and um, I figured I would help you guys out with that as well. And uh, again, share the video if you can, give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one. Peace.